good morning all. It's the Devious Monkey here on another glorious bagel Sunday. Yes, I'm off to get bagels for the day. It's 78 degrees, cloudy. It apparently rained again last night. I don't know what's gonna happen today. We'll figure that out. One thing that is going to happen is that I'm going to be shooting using my DJI wireless mic. Gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed in that Sony mic. It's very apparent that all of these influencers that were posting videos with this mic were doing post-production on it. I doubt that there was much that was like straight out of the camera, which is disappointing because you listen to it and you're like, oh wow, man, that sounds really good. That, you know, for coming right out of the camera and blah, 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 you know, like it, there's no way. I think it sounds like absolute crap in my studio. If I weren't just clicking the box for voice enhancement on all the shit that was outside, you wouldn't have, like you could barely hear me. A cicada can drown my voice out and the air conditioning running at, at, at you know, like every condo that I passed or every house that I passed, whatever, it completely made it horrible. If it weren't for the puppy, I probably wouldn't even have posted the stuff from yesterday even though voice enhancement kind of fixed it, but it still sounded like shit. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. The thing is, and I know people keep telling me, oh, just get in there and, and you know, do this, do that, and, and fix it up and make a preset and all that shit. But I don't do that. I, I'm, like, that's not me. I don't color grade. I don't fix audio. I don't do all that shit. That, that's not what I'm doing. Yes, I probably need to learn how to do that, but I don't wanna. I want to be able to plug this damn thing in and go. Run and gun, baby. So yeah, it's it's going to be relegated to being a backup mic. So if I'm out and about and this thing dies because I'm not paying attention, then I can throw that on, you know, and then I don't have to worry about it. And then while this is charging up, hopefully somewhere, you know, then I can at least have a microphone and I can deal with fixing the sound afterwards, hopefully. So yeah, pretty disappointed. I had high hopes. That's my problem for listening to influencers. All right, time to get bagels. I'm hungry. Bagels gotten. Not sure if I'm gonna beat the rain or not because it is looking pretty rainy. The weather, ha uh ha, -huh, I feel like I should, the weather says that it's supposed to not rain until three. It's only 11.30ish. So in theory, I should have more than enough time to walk the entirety of Pleasure House Point if I so desired and not have to worry about thunderstorms. Big difference today, I am not carrying my normal birding setup, which is the A7R4 with the 200 to 600. Today I threw the 200 to 600 on the A7 IV. And I wanna see if it continues to hold up and see how good that autofocus with the bird I autofocus specifically is. And since it's an overcast day and it's not like ridiculously sunny out it's a different circumstance than the normal me going out here and it's you know broad daylight super sunny you know a lot of harsh shadows and light and all that kind of stuff and we're just gonna we're gonna see how it goes but it, it's it's all gonna be kicked back and chill I'm not gonna go crazy running all over the place I think I literally might bring my stool and sit down at the main main little lake there when you first walk in since there's always so much there but we'll find out when we get there on you know what happens let's go hit pleasure house point okay so here's a real dumb monkey special there was a yellow crown night heron sitting out 20 feet away from me i had it up i started shooting and nothing was happening so i'm like okay what the shit? every time i pushed on the shutter button the screen blinked but nothing happened and i'm like okay that's interesting what is going on and suddenly i noticed that there was a camera with a music symbol with a slash through it and I was like, okay, now what is that? I'm not using audio, I'm taking pictures. I'm not shooting video. And I shut it off and turned it back on, pulled the batteries from the grip. I did all this stuff. I sat there and I kept changing like all the settings and I'm pushing down the shutter button and the screen continues to blink. And then as I'm looking up at the corner on the shot count, the shot count's going up. And then I'm like, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I accidentally hit the C2 button, which I have to turn on and off the silent shutter so i must have accidentally hit that 
and because I didn't hear the shutter clicking, I didn't realize that I was actually taking pictures. So I've got about 131 pictures of that branch, um, in addition to a ton of bangers of the bird itself. But yeah, that was kind of a, a real dumb monkey moment. Always an adventure. Now, it is not sunny out. I didn't think it was supposed to be all that warm, but the Schwitz is back. It is like a wet blanket out here. I'm drenched already just from walking from the Forerunner over to here. And I'm kind of glad I brought my little stool. I probably should have brought a bottle of water too though because I'm sweating my ass off. It is freaking humid and hot out here. So I'm just gonna maybe walk up to the next little lake here because that bird took off and a bunch of other birds are flying that way and there's nothing back here now. So I'm gonna go see what's up there now that I figured out how the hell to use my camera. So I seem to be following around these yellow crested night herons other than one egret and maybe a cormorant, although I couldn't see it on the screen. I haven't uh, seen anything other than those today. It is eerily calm today with pretty much no breeze. There's just like no wind. It's very quiet. I don't hear a lot of birds. I don't hear a lot of people, no cicadas or anything. So it's, it's a very calm, still day. It's also part of the reason why it's so schwitzy because there's no air movement. It's just a big, still wet blanket. Now I'm only concentrating on this one heron right here, but there's usually, if you see one, there's usually two, three more in and around the trees and sometimes up in those trees, but I haven't walked over there yet. I thought I'd just sit down here and do a little filming. Pretty cool. Okay, so I was just saying that like you have to look up in these trees and right up there is a pretty sizable great blue heron. He's a little bit back in the branches so he's kind of hard to get totally. And he's aware of me now, so very cool. But for some reason the bird eye autofocus wasn't getting on it there. I realized I just smudged my thumb all the way across the uh, filter there. Good job, monkey. I don't know what's up in these trees but there's also a ton of little itty bitty birds and uh, I've seen no less than six cardinals. So I don't know if it's the cardinals packing or picking away at something, but I'm gonna stand here for a little bit because I don't often get these little birds. Of course, the big problem is that they're so fast. They don't stay anywhere for like longer than a second. Man, it is it's just outside of my sight, but it's like right in front of me and it's picking at it. It's probably a freaking grizzly bear. That is a massive, massive woodpecker. I have got to try to get in there and get that. And now that I'm trying to be quiet and get these freaking woodpeckers, everyone and their brother is out here. Maddening, absolutely maddening. I can only get so close and I'm not really dressed for this. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here in the semi-shade and just wait for these birds to fly around. There are so many little birds and a ton of cardinals, so many cardinals. I really wish I would have brought some water. I'm so thirsty. So that was actually a lot of fun. A little frustrating because, you know, I'm not good at getting those, those little birds. They're just too damn fast. I'm gonna go back and see what I got, but I don't think I got anything all that great. I know I tried to zoom in on that woodpecker. That woodpecker was huge. That thing was the size of a freaking heron. And I haven't ever seen one that big before, so. Yeah, that was at least neat to see it. I was glad that I was actually able to finally see it since I could hear it, but you know, it was just not visible until I started walking into the, into the brush. But then of course I walked into the brush and cracked and, and it flew off. I still don't know what to think about the a7 IV just because it has bird eye autofocus. Like, I don't know if it's, if it's getting me that much better pictures that would warrant me saying, okay, I don't need the a7R4 anymore. I don't know. I mean, even without bird eye autofocus, shame on you, Sony, I still think that, I don't know, I get, I don't know, more keepers when I'm shooting with the a7R4 rather than the a7 IV in regards to birding. Maybe I just don't know how to use it correctly yet because it's so different. I don't know. That remains to be seen. Anybody else, you know, that has an a7R4 and an a7 IV, you getting better results? Let me know. 
Okay, kids, so I just talked for three minutes and realized that the receiver on the DJI wasn't on. See why I freaking hate that shit? I swear to God, I turned that on before I turned the camera on, but I guess I'm just not paying attention to the fact that it wasn't on. And then I looked up and saw that there was no audio meters going because I'm trying not to look at the screen. I'm trying to look at the, at the lens. Hi. Why won't somebody come up with the perfect solution? I feel like camera conspiracies. All I want is the perfect camera. It's not that difficult. I don't ask for much. Anywho, what I was babbling on about was the fact that I had a good time doing things a little bit differently today. Meaning I was sitting in Pleasure House Point on my collapsible stool watching birds rather than actively running all over Timbuktu trying to chase them down and get pictures. Short of the like 2,000 pictures that I took on silent shutter that I didn't realize I was taking, and I eliminated those. I did get some bangers of the yellow crusted night heron that I was actually looking at at the time and, and thought that I was taking pictures and then thought, oh, it's not taking pictures. Why the hell isn't it taking pictures when it was actually taking pictures? So all in all, as I looked at the pictures where I was, you know, trying to use the a7 IV rather than my a7R4 because of the bird autofocus, I did get a lot of really good shots. Although, you know, like when I'm, when I'm zooming in in post, I don't have as much because obviously I only have 33 megapixels rather than 61. That's kind of tough, a tough decision on whether or not I want to just like sell the a7R4 and just use my a7 IV because of the bird eye autofocus, you know, it's great, but it isn't like I haven't gotten really good shots without it. I guess I'm gonna have to wait to see what the A7R5 brings. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. I'm, I'm gonna get cracking on all this other crap that I gotta do, and uh, I have to think about dinner at some point as well. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.